All right, what do we got? We've got Max Ace in the house. Uh, there's mixed reviews about this from the comments I got. Not reviews, but comments that I got when I posted this on Instagram. Because some people just don't get it. And I think I get it. When I saw this, I said to myself, self, I want this knife. And I don't know why. I mean, there was another guy who says, it makes no sense. Why then do I want it? And that's a good question. So this is Mokume. Uh, and it's pure copper with brass and bronze all stirred in a big pot and made into a bowl full of crazy. That's what this is. Interesting. The one I saw though on the Max Ace Instagram, this, we're gonna take this apart by the way, of course. Uh, this was blue. So I imagine this comes out, this pivot, surround. This was blue and this was blue. And I'm saying, yeah, I like that effect. I thought it was really good. So I think that's what I'm going to do with this one. Wow. Incredible. Let me get my magnet out of here. Eh, this is steel. Okay. So these are... That doesn't feel magnetic at all. So these screws are different. These are definitely steel. Wow. Okay. But... First thing out of your mouth was Batman, wasn't it? I know it was. Yes, it was out of mine too. Oh, wow. And we've got an M390 blade, number 30 of 200. So only 200 made of these. The Red Queen 2, I thought it was Batman, but I guess it's not. It's not Batman, it's Red Queen 2. Kind of a stone washy frame here, you know? Which is good, that's nice. But this is really an interesting insert. And guess what? They did it on both sides. Both sides. So the party. Okay, there's a party in the front. But there's actually a little private party in the back. They got the grill going. 30 pack of Coors Light. Of course, my favorite. And uh, hey, they're having fun too. So yeah, I like the fact that they, you know, brought the design together front and back and look at that back spacer Whew. I mean that's the New Jersey turnpike right there that baby's all the way up but it protects the blade protects your fingers from getting mixed up with the blade lanyard hole right through the back spacer so that's incorporated mill titanium pocket clip can you go left hand and it doesn't look like you can no Kicks right open, detent, detent, detent. Oh, man. <laughs> nope, that ain't happening. Okay, that is. That's pretty respectable. Mm, 25%. Drop, not on my thumb, I hope. There we go. Design flow, pretty good. Got a little gap in there, but not too bad. Ooh, came up to see me. Yeah, we got all the blade in there that we could go. So blade to handle length is cool. Yeah, that's nice. But yeah, detent. That rolled open. Tried to fail it. Doesn't feel that incredibly strong. It's nice, you know, kind of midway thing on there. It's not too strong, but not too weak. And when I get done putting this thing back together I probably won't put quite as much oomph on that on the uh, pivot so this thing will drop a lot better but it feels smooth so it'll be interesting to see inside this let's get a weight on it it's a good size knife too um, and it's not gonna be a lightweight Oh, no, no, it's not going to be 196 grams. Let's roll around two ounces. 6.94, almost seven ounces. That's a weighty, weighty knife. It's easy to get through here and disengage dis, uh, the lock bar. And it drops and it gets over the detent pretty quick. Just like that, it's over. 
See what I'm saying? So by the time that flipper tab hits you in the thumb, it's over. So it makes it a bit of a fidget factor there. Plus, if you ever get in trouble, just take your Olight, right? Take your Olight, <laughs> it's already still on my charger, and turn it on and shine it behind that. And then the commissioner will see you, or Batman will, I'm sorry. Over at Gotham City, you'll be, okay, never mind. So that's, that's cool. I mean, geez, everybody's got a comment. Everybody's a joker on Instagram. But, uh, and then people were talking about how super easy this would be to sharpen. And yeah, I have to admit, yeah, it'd be like so easy. So that's not a problem at all, of course. I mean, that's, that's the kind of blade everybody ought to be putting out these days just for ease of sharpening if anything else whoa let's see if it'll cut something man is he serious what's he saying wow oh baby you catch it where it cuts and it cuts you catch it where it doesn't cut i don't know but yeah whoo that's scary sharp actually I don't need you, Batman. I think I'm good enough with a bat knife. Because it's a bat boy. Mmm, bat dog. That does feel good, though, but it feels solid. It's centered, no blade play, no lock rock. Comes in a tiny, tiny little box. Tiny box. Oh, there we go. We gotta turn it around. With a big handle. You could put your 45, at least a compact 45 in there, man. Woo, that's some room in here, isn't it? It's like a condo in Midtown Manhattan. Oh, oh yeah, so it was set up for other things that could go in here, right? You can take these sections out, put other things in there. So here's the card, Red Queen 2. 22 and a half millimeters long, ouch, 100 millimeter blade length, yeah, four millimeter thickness and Bowler M390 TC4 uh, titanium Mokume or carbon fiber. And it's like July of 2019, 195 grams. Oh, so if you put the carbon fiber out, it, in, it drops way down. And there's Chan Aiden. Okay, so that's on Instagram. He's Max Ace, Chan Aiden. He's the boss. So it says carbon fiber, and what does that mean? That means there's a set of carbon fiber scales in here. And some titanium screws that hold it in place, as opposed to these color titanium screws. No wonder they aren't uh, magnetic, that hold in the Mokume inserts so you get that plus he gives you four and a half pounds worth of hardware and don't forget the max ace velcro pouch sticks right there it's a grab and go carry anywhere Four inches, 100, millim uh, 100 millimeters, uh, and maybe more, you know, depending on where you want to measure to. And 8.8 .8 inches at uh, 22 and a half centimeters. Absolutely. Now, let's see what we got for blade stock. He said, well, it's going to be close to four millimeters, isn't it? 3.8 is my reading on here. And uh, 13 millimeters, 0.51, so it's not that thick here, but it's fairly tall here. And then you've got these choils, finger choils. If you fit them, it's good. If you don't, it's not going to be as good. This fits me, okay? I can do this, this, and it's open here. So yeah, that fits me great. And reverse grip's comfortable as well. Yeah, that feels good. It's easy to disengage, very fidget friendly. Uh, 
really, really cool. I like the look, the design. It's either going to scare you or you're going to like it. It's going to be something. I mean, it's so out there that it's, it's going to bring some kind of a reaction from anybody. Where's my balance point on this knife? Okay, I don't know where I can get under this. You can kind of feel it before you let it go. Okay, there it is, right there. Not bad. Yeah, I'm liking this bad boy. Well, there's only 200 made. It's really kind of a specialty knife. So it's one of those things that's very collectible and you could carry it and will it cut? Oh yeah, it'll cut something. Uh, wow. But no, it's not an everyday user. That's not letting go easy. Let's try this. Oh, this does. Okay, good, good. Don't push it. Don't push it. Try the other side first. And there we go. Yeah, not a problem. And these are all number eight. So these, this is good. Coming apart like a beautifully made machine. Max Ace, they, they make some good knives. I mean, a lot of people don't think about Max Ace necessarily, but there's, there's, they're not that well known of a brand, but it's good. Now, what are we going to do? How do we defeat you, my friend? Okay. I just had to kind of give it a little nudge because you got that full length backspacer there. That makes it more difficult. See, this is going to apply e equal uh, pressure along here so it's not so easy to pop the scale off. But you can see the backspacer's on here and I bet it's on here. Now it'll come off if I can pull it. Yeah, here we go. It's not letting go real easy. That's why it wasn't easy to pull this off, this whole piece off, but there it goes. Okay, nothing big deal there. Uh, yeah, I mean, obviously you have this whole thing cut away for the inserts. They didn't need to put any weight relieving there. And there you go with the little Maxey symbol back here. Let's pop this off. Oh, multi-row bearings and a big old hoss of a, of a blade stop. And there's the steel washer, multi-row bearings. And yes, hold on. There goes the pivot surrounds, just like that. And there's the multi-row bearings. We've got ceramic detent and a hardened steel insert with over travel stop as well. So you could flip these out if you wanted to and put the carbon fiber on there. I do not want to put the carbon fiber on there because I really like these Mokume uh, inserts so I'm not going to swap it out. I have no interest in doing so but if you did you just unscrew these, pop it out and put the carbon fibers in. You can see that obviously you have a squared off area here. So the pivot itself, see how that is? Squared off when it goes through there and engages so it won't let this pivot turn. So here's your pivot surround. So I see how they got those a different color in their picture on Instagram because they could pull them out and anodize these separately. And of course, you could do the pocket clip and backspacer separately as well. Throw the pivot back in, just like that. And we already got our washer here. Put some bearings. Put some lube on there. And put this back in. Now, which way is this square piece? Gonna have to face when it comes in. It's gonna have to face up. So I need to face up like that. Put 
put this backspacer back in get it located on board and then uh, put some ceramic bearings in here I guess I could put the washer on top like that and then of course I need my blade stop insert right there now let's see where we can go see if that'll fit so far so good just like that take it easy on that for now I uh, don't think it matters how it comes through but I think these came through from the back like that and then our screws in the front they're all number eights and they're the same length okay It definitely tells you when it's done turning so it's a nice positive feel there where are we centered up yes okay No play. Centered up. Well, we're back. Got it together. It's uh it's an in interesting knife. It's not for everybody. I get that, but uh it's solid in the hand, that's for sure. I just thought it was fascinating. Red Queen, I had the Red Queen it, when it first came out. Then they also came out in aluminum as well. And then this is the Red Queen 2. This was a limited run. And uh, I'm sure he figured this is not going to be for everyone either. But an interesting uh, exercise in design and manufacturing for sure. And yes, I'm Batman. And we love them knives. So you guys, stay sharp.